Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, we play around and make infrared photography. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the amazing, the magnifique city of Paris, France. And I make not one, but two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw files we're going to be using for this week's podcast, including a special action to make the infrared. You have to subscribe to my newsletter or click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the last episode, I showed you some tips and tricks on macro photography. This week, we're going to play around with infrared photography. Infrared photography is a very specific look. Normally, you need a special camera or a special film to achieve that look. Now, with different steps in Photoshop, we can achieve a very similar look. And it's just a really cool trick to play around with. This is some of the final result. You will see it's very fun to do and pretty easy. Plus, I made you an action, so it, you just click on it and you can use it. All right, so let me show you how we do this. All right, mesdames and messieurs, so to be able to get the action and the raw files that you need to follow along this tutorial, just make sure you go to my website, photosearch.com, and you subscribe to my newsletter by putting your name and email here. If you don't have this little window, you can just go to news and subscribe, sign up. Uh, in exchange, you will get almost a daily newsletter from me, from my creative marketing team, and you will get access to hundreds and hundreds of free stuff because you are getting all this incredible information from me. Isn't that crazy and amazing? All right, before we get started, I just want to credit uh, the website called Photoshop Creative because uh, today's tutorial is totally based on, on uh, one of their tutorial, which is called Create a Colored Infrared Effect in Photoshop. I really like the tutorial and I'm just gonna do the sort of the video version of it with a little twist of myself, a little uh, surgery remedy input in it. Okay, so let's go to uh, Lightroom. And first, I'm gonna start out with this photo. We wanna go for an infrared, infrared photo. Just so you know, people doing infrared photography usually use a camera that only does infrared photography because, because the sensor has been modified or people on film use infrared films. And it's a very special look. And in some of the photos where you have some nice greens and nice blues, it works. It doesn't work on all the photos, but I've made a few selections and you will see how it works. So here is a raw file that I shot in uh, Vincennes, close to Paris. And I'm just gonna retouch it. This is unretouched raw file, I'm just going, but this time I'm gonna do a special infrared retouching. I'm gonna open up the shadows and bring down the highlights. And that's about it. I don't want to have it too contrasty. I don't want to do the whites. I don't want to do the blacks. I want it to be washed out like this, not more. Maybe add a bit of clarity. And even then, you can always go to unavailable profile correction, remove chromatic aberration, eventually do a bit of sharpening, like, you know, something like 69 sharpening, a little bit of noise reduction, noise reduction, a little bit of masking on the, on the sharpening so you don't sharpen the sky. But that's about it. You want to start off with a bit of a washout look, okay? Then I'm going to right click edit and edit in Photoshop CC 2014. You can use any version of Photoshop for this, but you need to have Photoshop. You will not be able to follow if you do not have Photoshop. That's the only problem. So here we are into Photoshop. So I'm going to show you the different step to create the infrared look. And then at the end, if you don't want to have to repeat all these steps, we're, I'm going to show you uh, how to do it with just one action and how to install an action. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command J to duplicate my layer and I'm going to call this infrared. Okay, infrared. This layer I'm going to put into overlay mode. So it's very contrasty now. That's why you need to start off with a pretty washed out photo. And then I'm going to make this go to about 60%. It's, it's a real formula. Then I'm going to go and put an adjustment layer, a channel mixer adjustment layer. Here we are. And on the channel adjustment layer, and this is the trick, I'm going to put my red. First, I'm going to click on monochrome. So everything's going to go black and white. And my reds, I'm going to put it at plus 200. Um, no, sorry. The red is plus 100. The green is plus 200. And the blue is minus 200. Okay pretty crazy look already. So that's a channel mixer. The channel mixer I'm going to put between the bottom photo and the infrared. So already we have a kind of a funny look. 
but that's not all. Make sure you then select the top photo. All right. And we're going to go to image adjustment, use saturation. I'm going to select oops, the yellow. We only want to change the yellow and I'm going to put at U minus 130 and in saturation plus 40 and click on OK. And ta -da! we have basically a look, uh, you know, um, we have basically the look of infrared. Now, to finish this off, uh, we need to add an, a level adjustment, okay, which is here. And then you can do some levels onto it, like for example, especially use the middle button of the levels to darken a bit the photo. You, we can make the dark a bit darker, the whites a bit brighter, something like this. You just fine tune it with your levels and there you're finished. And now I can just select all of this, right click and um, group from layers. So that's going to create a new group that I'm going to call IR for infrared. And check this out before, after we gave an infrared look to the photo. Now, in, the, in their tutorial, what they do is they, they add a little, on, on the infrared photo itself, they, they go to filter, they go to blur, and they go to Gaussian blur, and they do add a little 10% uh, Gaussian blur, because usually infrared photo are a bit blurry. You can even add it a couple of times. So that's the final look they are going for, all right? Now, if you don't, I mean, you can just stop this video and just, you know, replay what I did and just note on a sheet of paper and just redo the thing, or you can go because there will be a link to the tutorial below the video. But if you are lazy like me, I have prepared an action. If you have access to my goodie where you can get this, but you have to subscribe to my newsletter and to get the action. So at first I'm going to show you how to install an action. So I'm going to go over to the finder and I'm going to give you for free an action called infrared.atn. All you have to do to install it, and it's very complicated, is you double click on it. That's it. Once you double click on it, I can take a, a new photo, for example, this one. I can go to action and now the, the action is installed in your Photoshop. All you have to do now is just click on the action itself, not the folder containing the action, but the action itself and click play. And boom, you got an infrared photo. Then you can go to layers. You can, this is all the actions that we did. It's, it did it in, in, a, in a second. You can go to layers. And then, you know, fine tune how you want it, maybe a bit darker, something like this. You can, you know, you can also, what you can do is take the, the overall folder with all the, the layers. And if you, you know, if you turn it off, nothing happens. If you don't, it's fully happening. You can lower the opacity of the group of layers if you want a more natural result. But if you're interested into infrared photography, you're not interested by a natural result. Okay. Then um, let me show you on this photo, on this photo. Oh, I already did it here. I'm going to go here, go to my action, infrared, press play, and boom, infrared photo. It's kind of, it doesn't work on all the photo. You got to make sure it's like not so contrasty to start with. That's very important. I find it. And then I can just fine tune it, make it maybe a bit darker or make the whites a bit bigger, the blacks a bit stronger. And voila, infrared, infrared, and infrared in just a few seconds. It's a cool look that I really like and um, it's very popular on the web and voila and use my action to do it. It's going to take you a split of a second. In case you missed it, here is a little presentation of my latest course, Landscape Photography. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm happy to announce that I have a new course coming out called Landscape Retouching. This course is a bit special. It has really all my technology on landscape retouching in Lightroom and in Photoshop. Some of the projects are going to be very easy, just Lightroom and Lightroom only. Some of them are going to be digital blendings, pretty easy just using layers. Some of them are going to be more advanced using luminosity mask, a very cool advanced technique for hard situation of blending. In all, you have 10 projects. There is 20 raw files. I have also a special release discount if you purchase this within the next days. All right, mesdames et messieurs, here you have it, my landscape retouching course. I hope you love it. And I will see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.